Good afternoon guys, we are back at Cars and Coffee, this time it is October, let's have a look in the yard to see what we can find this month. I'm going to apologise now, I've just been getting over Covid, uh, it hit me fairly hard and it's uh, it's left me a little bit shaky so I, I am sorry, the video is a bit shaky this month. So we managed to um, have a, as little overspill as possible this month, but there are a couple outside on the road. They always deserve some attention as well. It was cool actually to see, uh, I think this is a Zephyr of some description, but it is, uh, it's pretty cool. Um, something that we don't see a lot of. Uh, I'm not really sure why it has the Mustang badge on the front, somebody will tell me. Uh, and this is, this is Mick Cooper again. He is the guy that had the Cosworth from a few months ago and it absolutely is one of my favourite cars that comes to top off his collection you know he has an Evo 7 stunning car absolutely beautiful perfect for, for being an absolute weapon on the track um, talking to him recently like Mick isn't all about power he's very much a, about handling brakes tyres suspension that kind of thing so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty cool and uh, looking forward to seeing some more of what he can do. So uh, this guy, um, White Type RA, I can't remember his name. I feel terrible because he's a customer of mine. The funny thing is, when we first met, he told me, oh, I just drive some old Subaru, and uh, this is what he turns up to cars and coffee in, a one of 300 properly JDM track car. I mean, it's got a pop-up roof scoop. What more can you ask for? It is awesome bit of kit. Uh, he also has a really nice BMW 330D as a daily, and he also has you know, a Jixxer 600, so yeah, all round cool guy, and he is constantly supporting cars and coffee, so yeah, nice guy, and I will make the effort to remember his name. And this is a bit of me, I love an S2000, and it's not often you see a facelift S2000, especially in this condition, and in yellow it's been lightly modified by the owner but not a lot and I always say you can tell how much somebody cares about their car by the quality of the tyres they put on you know I'm pretty sure they were Pilot Sport 4s or 5s and it's a great looking bit of kit cool little Fiesta as well uh, and this one is a friend of mine his dad uh, Roy first time down but I don't think it'll be his last time as uh, no uh, no replacement for displacement, right? So this was Roy's TVR. He's had it from what I understand for a long, long time, and it doesn't often come out. So I felt a bit privileged that he made the effort to bring it down to the show. So uh, again, another bit of me. I love an old Sierra and a, an RS500 at that. Incredible. It's the first time this guy's been down, but um, what a way to turn up, right? Literally turns up and uh, pretty much steals the show with something like this. And I love the fact that this is, uh, you know, been in, in, in the papers and stuff, and he'd got it from, it's, you know, it's like an old press car type thing. But yeah, cool bit of kit. And then, you know, as you do a casual R34 GTR, turns up. 120 grand car just, you know, rolls up to your show. The, uh, the owner of the car is a little shy, but I'm sure if I, if I keep pestering him eventually, he might just have a little chat about his car with me and we could potentially ask him some questions. It's obviously been modified to an extent, but you know I don't know what's been done to it other than what you can see, so it'd be cool to have a chat with him about it. So 
so this little hill minute was pretty hard to ignore you could hear it coming from quite the distance and it is an awesome little bit of kit I, uh, I managed to speak to the owner and he agreed to do an interview so that's coming up now uh, enjoy yeah cool Right guys, I'm here with James, he's going to tell me about, a bit about his car today, so James, who are you? Uh, yeah, my name's uh, James Ibbotson, um, this is my uh, 1967 Hillman Imp Super. Um, I've owned a car for about 10 years now, um, probably not a, uh, a nut or bolt that I haven't, um, that I haven't uh, done anything with, you know, so... Uh, okay, so how, how did you sort of get into this, what did you do for a living? Uh, so, when I grew up I always, you know, sort of wanted to be involved in motorsport, um, so at the moment I'm a sort of a motorsport suspension technician. Amazing, that's really cool. So yeah, so obviously. Would you, would you sort of work on like as a day to day? Uh, like Olin's um, suspension, so we strip and um, service. Uh, oh, really cool. Like yeah. dampers. Yeah, cool. Uh, okay. Which obviously helps with the with the racing, and that gives me an idea for setup. That kind yeah, of, thing. of course. So t tell me about this car. Tell me about what obviously. Yeah, we know it's a what is it? So this this car I've owned for about 10 years now. Um, it was originally put back on the road as just a standard road car. And then um, a couple of years ago I decided I wanted to go racing. So uh, it's, <coughs> it's it's now a fully fledged sort of 366 uh, classic touring car. Amazing. Um, so it's still um, got the original Imp engine, but um, obviously very well tuned. What do you compete in? Uh, the 366 uh, classic touring car racing club. Um, the the car with me won the championship last year overall. Amazing, um, incredible. Couple well of, thank you. A couple of weeks ago, we went to Snetterton and managed to win a couple of races overall against um, mainly sort of Ford Lotus Cortinas, which obviously have almost double the power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but we managed to sort of. Well, I would imagine you're two thirds of the weight. Yeah, yeah. yeah so exactly. a bit lighter and uh, a bit quicker light, through the corners. Yeah, so, so um, what, what's the engine? Uh, it's an original imp engine and it's been bored out from 875cc up to 1040. Um, it, it's all sort of, you know, the, the head's well worked on, runs a, a big pair of Delortos and um, so they, they originally came with about 40 horsepower, it's now running about 115. Wow, okay, so, that's incredible. Uh, yeah, almost, almost three times the power. So. Okay, tell me about your wheels and tyres, what have you got on the app? Uh, it's got a original set of sort of 1960s alley cat wheels. Um, They're really cool, I love how theory they are, they look great. Yeah, so so in the championship we can only run up to five and a half inches wide, um, so these are a, a 13 by five and a half um, wheel. Um, the, the tyres are actually uh, they're Dunlop CR65 cross ply okay. tyres. So they're, they're uh, like a Piri correct tyre? Exactly, yeah. Um, so they take a couple of laps to sort of come on um, and then a, sort of two more laps and they're absolute jelly. So the car is usually broadside. You know, <laughs> um, but that, that's how they're quick. You know, they, they, these aren't, um, you know, driven sort of straight. Yeah, yeah. They, it's they very like much a sideways power, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So with, with the tyres, what's the actual width of the, the tread pattern, do you know? I, I should imagine it's probably equivalent to about a 175, 165. Okay. So, so you, you are talking a really small contact patch yeah, for yeah. most of the time. With the engine being in the back mm. and obviously being rear wheel drive, it's going to be such a lively beast. Yeah, it's it's very much um, get the front sort of nosed in and then steer it on the throttle. So yeah, Excellent. it's good fun. So any plans for the car? Make it faster. Okay, how do you plan on doing that? <laughs> um, get some more weight out of it if I can. Um, and there's not a lot to come out of it. There isn't. Um, I mean, we, we have to run steel panels, you know, doors, boot, bonnet. What does it weigh at the moment? Uh, 610. 610? 610. 610 kilos. And what's your goal? I'd like to get it to sort of 580, 590. Um, some, of the, some of the minis that we race against, um, you know, they're running the 1300 with another 30 horsepower on top of this. Um, and they're about the same weight, so if we, if we can get the weight down to about the same as them, we'll, uh, we'll have a good chance of beating more of them. Amazing. Well, thank you very much for coming down today. It's a, a, a real treat to see something like this. Um, so yeah, thanks again, James. Thanks for having us. Cheers. Nice one. So yeah, very nice to James to do the interview. Enjoyed that one. That was cool. Nice to talk to him about it and see something a bit different. And uh, I think impressors like this for me are kind of like a fine wine. I think they are definitely getting better with age, and I uh, really, really do like these now. They're, they're, they are creeping up in price, and they're getting to the point where actually they're no longer like thrashable like they used to. 
and they are sort of starting to get to that Evo territory. So, but nice car, like it a lot. So this is Amy from the Fast Fam, as they call themselves. Uh, this is her Supra, it is lovely, and that is Bayside Blue. Uh, she's also got an award-winning 350Z, amongst some other very cool cars. It'd be cool to get the 350 on and uh, talk to her about that. And anybody that knows me knows that I love a, a Porsche massive soft spot for them and if it weren't for the box star you know, there would be no Porsche same as the 924 they saved the company the GTS is very cool this thing is an animal and I wish I'd have got some pictures of it it uh, is actually got an RB engine from a skyline in So this is Tim with his Model A, uh, he's a regular of ours, comes down a lot to the Cars and Coffee and uh, I will definitely try and get hold of him and get some questions on this because it would be interesting to know a bit more about it. See you guys. Thanks for watching peeps, I do really appreciate the uh, the support and the love that we get at Lane Buzzard Cars and Coffee. Next month is our one year anniversary so it would be great to have some support. Don't forget to follow us on the socials, on Facebook and Instagram. I do really appreciate the follows and the support and uh, don't forget to do the whole YouTube thing and like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching guys.